the device that you're going to see us using here is called the SB7 Spirit Box. And uh, we have an entire video on how this device works and the, the method behind it and, and, and what we think makes it work. Um, suffice to say, it is simply an AM FM radio that sweeps quickly between channels, uh, creating a lot of white noise, and it will also catch up s snippets of radio signals. Um, and we use something called the Estes method, where the person listening to the spirit box um, is in noise canceling headphones and a blindfold, they can't hear the questions that we're asking. Um, and we believe, you know, sometimes the spirits can, can make these these things sync up with what they're you know, called synchronicity. So we're going to ask questions and see if the answers sync up, and we're going to try to talk to any spirits that are hanging around this bridge. Who is here with us? Is there anyone near this bridge? Answers? Yes, we're looking for answers. Who are you? We Hello? Hello. We can't see you. But we can hear you. We hear? Good. Good. I'm glad you can hear us. What do you... What is this place called? Choking? Choking? Choking who? Auburn? Do you live around this bridge? A lizard? That's what I do. No. Do you pass through here often? I do. Do you know about the crying that people sometimes hear here? We are. Are you making those noises? Through? Up. Why are you making those noises? Oz? <laughs> Hello, Oz. Thank you for joining us out here. Oz is a, let's just call him a familiar. Follow? Yeah, you followed us out here. Oz, do you, do you see any spirits out here that we could talk to? No. We'd like to speak to the locals, Oz. It's just back crazy. off. Oh. Why should we back off? Bird. I don't understand. Alloy. I don't understand. Windy? A little bit. We'd like to speak with the spirits who are crying. No. Are you afraid of us? Through it. We're just curious about you. Whisper it. Maybe we can help you. Rip. 
ripped apart. Ugh. Who's ripped apart? Was someone ripped apart? Was something ripped apart? Work? Did you work on this bridge? Aid? Were you hurt here? I just saw a ladder. Were you hurt while climbing a ladder? Hello? Hello. We'd like to know about you. Brown hair, you should. Should what? Is there a lot of violence around the Trees? Bridge? Yes, there are trees. Is there a lot of violence around the bridge? Movie? We're recording. Was someone hurt here? We do. Do you hurt people that Cranky. come through here? Cranky? Do you hurt people that come through here? Abscess? Abscess. Do you mean abscess? Entwined? Who's entwined? Moving through. Where are you coming from? Bird. What bird? Bird. What bird? Maybe. What kind of bird? Answer. Yes, I'd like an answer. You hear it? Maybe. No, I haven't heard it. Tell me if someone was hurt here. Philip. Who's Philip? Who's Philip? Shoreline. Did Philip fall in the water? It's a puzzle. It is a puzzle. Who's Philip? Oh God, no. Driver. Were you hurt here? Maybe. Can we do anything to help you? Waterline. It's high up there. <laughs> yeah, the, the line of water coming down the bridge. Through it. Explore it. I'm a little old to go climbing up there. Unless that's a portal. Yesterday. What happened yesterday? Sideways.
What do you want to tell us about this bridge? Log hand? Log hand. We could. Could what? Could what? Low now? It's getting dark and the park is closing. Is there anything else that you'd like to Low say? now? Low now? Low now, low now. Hearts by Heart. Janky. <laughs> Always. Well, thank you for talking with us. We hear you. We might come back. Would you like that? Baby crying, that's Mary talking. We're a part of it. A part of what? I'm assuming that means she heard a baby crying on the spirit box. Would you like us to bring offerings uh, to soothe your spirit? Mary talking if I heard a baby again? That's no. Pretty, that's pretty unusual in the spirit box. That is pretty unusual. It's loud now. We're going to let you go yes. now. Okay? Down below. You were there. Who was there? Dude. I don't think they want us to go, but I think uh, we're going to have to wrap this up. Thank you for speaking with us. Thank you. Uh, oh, God. Oh, wow. That was... So I just wanted to uh, have a little wrap-up wrap-up. Okay. Um... Turn the lights on here for a little bit. It was dark. It got, got real dark. Um, yeah, that was an interesting spirit box session. Everything was in whispers. They mentioned something about whispering. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah they did. Okay. The baby crying was just fucking creepy because I wasn't expecting that to happen. How on EDM radio do I hear baby crying? And have, have you ever picked up that no, before? No, no. I've never heard a baby crying before. Yeah, we've done dozens of spirit box sessions, and I've never see, heard you say, oh, I hear a baby crying. Um, something else that I find interesting about that session that we just had was... Um, sorry, my train of thought completely derailed. Um, you answered some of our questions like very quickly, like with, with yes or no answers. Like there was a, uh, I can't remember what the specific question was that Jim asked, but like you literally responded within seconds. No. Yeah. And it happened. I think it happened a couple times. Yeah. And I showed up. Yeah. yeah I heard Oz, but it was, and then I think he said follow, like he followed us. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I, I think he was a little jealous that we're out here doing this. To tell you the truth. That was the only voice that wasn't a whisper, by the way. Everything else was like a whisper, like they were crawling up and saying things. They felt like they were underneath the car or something. Um, there was a mention towards the end of the session uh, where they said underneath or underground. Oh, okay. Yeah. I, I, sometimes I don't remember what they say when they say it. I just repeat it. Um, they were hard to hear. They were usually when you're listening to a spirit box you catch glimpses of advertisements like weird music or something none of that 
<laughs> None of that at all. Yeah. yeah. And, and it was slow getting started. Yeah, that's what I was just going to mention. And it picked up. Usually it starts pretty quick. And in this case, it took a minute to it's, ramp up. It was almost like after I saw the ladder, and it was like this thin red ladder, like metal. All of the pieces were like tubular was the only way I could describe it. I wouldn't get on this ladder. <laughs> it looked unstable. Um, it felt then that I could hear the voices a little bit more after I saw this ladder. I know people probably think I sound crazy, but it's um, what I saw. It's interesting. It's very interesting. I've never seen a ladder before. I've had images before pop up in Spirit Box sessions, but... I will say I thought it was interesting that we got a name. Um, you that, said that Philip. Yeah, yeah you Philip. Said the name Philip. That was weird. I, I, we rarely get specific names. I don't know if you were asking about who was here or anything. Uh, we were asking, um, like, questions about has anyone been hurt here? Okay. Has violence around the bridge re uh, common? Um, yeah. You know, stuff like that, basically, to see if if it is like a possibility that these are like hauntings of the dead okay or if it's something else uh well i don't know i felt like we were talking to people and i don't get that vibe very often usually when we do spirit box sessions i feel like we're talking to something that is not of us well usually these that's voices, what we're aiming for this voice these voices were very human sounding is the only way i can describe them they sounded distant they sounded like they were on the ground underneath us and it was it was not what i was expecting i was to be honest not expecting much and to get that kind of almost intense vibe of I'm talking to something that was at least relatively human in a, at least one existence of its life. Yeah. That was creepy. Well, I would love to sit here and talk about this but, all night. Yeah. But we gotta get going. I had a good time. I think this is worth coming out here again. Um, stay tuned for more from Midwest Spirits. We're gonna have a lot of great stuff. Follower investigation coming up. We're gonna put a lot of time into that one. And uh, thanks for watching. Cool. I hope you enjoyed this and parts one and two of our investigation at the Avon Haunted Bridge. Please like and subscribe to the channel so you get more episodes as they come out and it helps spread the word and gets more people involved. Thank you so much for watching.
it seems like paranormal teams, both the ones you see on TV and the ones you see on YouTube and on social media, they're all trying to answer the same question. Is it haunted? Is this place, is this object, is this person, is it haunted? And no one seems to stop and ask the question, what does haunted even mean? My name is James, and together with my wife, Mary, we're the co-founders of Midwest Spirits, Paranormal Investigations. But besides being a paranormal investigator, first and foremost, I consider myself to be a magus, a magician. And if I'm being specific, a practitioner in the Western esoteric tradition. But it, it's even more specific than that. What I practice, what I call it, is ceremonial animism. And that's something even a lot of my peers, other magicians, don't understand. Because when you say ceremonial magic, uh, the first thing that comes to mind, if, if you think about it at all, um, is alchemy and hermeticism and Kabbalah seeing the relationship between different symbols and mathematical equations for different words. Well, I've never been that good at math. And my ceremony is the ceremony of diplomacy. And my magic is based on my relationship with the spirits. For an animist, just about anything can be haunted. Scholars generally agree that animism is the world's oldest religion. And by extension, that means animism is the world's longest lasting religion, lasting for that 250,000 years of human prehistory. Of course, things are more complicated than that, made complicated by the fact that the discipline that I went to school for, comparative religion, can't even agree on what the definition of a religion is. And on top of that, you know, without a written record, there's no way for us to really know what our prehistoric ancestors believe. But one thing's for certain. And this is something that, that goes back even further with our hominid cousins, is that we left grave goods. We left items when we buried the dead. And that's a strong indicator that we believed that in some way we continued to exist after we died. But animists, well, they believe in a whole lot more than just spirits of the dead. My favorite definition of animism comes from a scholar named Graham Harvey. And he says, Animists are people who recognize that the world is full of persons, only some of whom are human, and that life is always lived in relationship to others. Animism is lived out in various ways that are all about learning to act respectfully, carefully, and constructively towards and among other persons. Now the key phrase there is, only some of whom are human. Because some animists believe that the rocks are alive, trees are alive, the rivers and the mountains are alive and they are our brothers and sisters. They have a character, they have personality, they have goals, they have modes of being. And in that same way, towns can be alive. 
So I'm asking the question, is Fowler haunted? Is the town itself? What is its personality? What is Fowler's character? And what does that have to say about all of these other small towns all around Indiana, just like Fowler, and all around the Midwest? And why is it that the people in Fowler are seeing the spirits of the dead? And what are those spirits trying to say? Thank you.